Kenya is well known for its beauty. From the coast of Indian Ocean with sandy beaches and the rich culture of the people to the expansive savanna, home to the big five and other wildlife. The cosmopolitan city of Nairobi, the highlands of Mount Kenya, rich in cash crops, tea and coffee, to Lake Victoria, the second largest lake in the world. With a population of above 31 million people, Kenya is rated among the poorest countries in the world. The HIV and AIDS pandemic has worsened the scenario given that the active age group are the most infected and affected. Western province has one of the highest population growth rates, estimated at 2.7% annually, which is above the national average of 2.4%. 56% of the families live below the poverty line and survive on less than one US dollar daily, making the fight against HIV and AIDS a major challenge. Income generating activities which could improve the livelihood security of households with chronically ill members are inadequate. The meager household incomes mean that families cannot afford basic needs or save money for development. These problems are further compounded by gender disparities and discourse taboos which reduce the role of women to that of housekeeping, childbearing and providing labor to the very farms to which they cannot claim ownership. Illiteracy, particularly among women and girls, means they cannot compete with their male counterparts for job opportunities, thus rendering them vulnerable to prostitution as a means of social and economic survival. Mr. James Onyango, founder and the executive director of Kaipik, has worked with the local community to encourage them to help themselves. Each individual and group working with Kaipij plans and implements their own program of action. Uh, Kaipij Kenya AIDS Intervention Prevention Project Group was uh, created out of a need to tackle the problem of HIV and AIDS holistically. Uh, when a group of people came together in 1996 and decided to form the organization as a support group of people living with AIDS. And uh, this organization over the years it has been evolving and uh, to date KP is reaching close to 30,000 people every year. While AIDS remains a major problem in Kenya, it is often the women and girls who bear the brunt of the pandemic. They have no right to own property such as land and are psychologically at the increased risk of contracting HIV. They are less educated and many are unemployed. This means they cannot afford to eat well or buy medicine when they fall ill. The KIP programs range from uh, home-based care for persons living with HIV and AIDS. We have programs that tackle nutrition for families affected with HIV and AIDS. Programs that tackle the problem of orphans, which is a major problem in the community today. We address the needs of the orphans, ranging from schooling needs to psychological needs at home, and also the needs in terms of medication. <laughs> The goal of Kaipij Home-Based Care and Support for Persons Living with HIV and AIDS is to improve the quality of life by strengthening community and household capacity to mobilize, coordinate and care for people living with HIV AIDS in their homes. So what we're going to do now is to learn
Kwa hivyo juu utuletea mbegu na sisi sasa wanatuonyesha vile tunapanda, tunapanda, wanatuletea dawa, tunamuangilia. Mapato nyo tutapata dani, tunauza mavuna yake na tuletea mapato kwa kikundi. Hii pia sasa inatuwezesha kufikia mayatima kidogo kwa upande wa chakula tunawanunulia. Alafu pia sisi na yu kuendeleza mradi ili usianguke. Kwa mfana madawa, kikuza kwa nyanya leo, kesho tunazaduna madawa. Na umradu wote, tunapata usaidizi kutoka KPG. Sasa tukifanya hivi pia tunatoa kwa pesa kumua kwa mfano vile mlawanda. This is achieved through training family members and volunteers on nutrition, nursing care, hygiene and how to protect themselves and others from HIV infections and diseases such as tuberculosis. Kaipij promotes comprehensive home-based care to provide for the medical, emotional, psychological, physical needs of people living with AIDS and address the stigma and discrimination faced by the infected and the affected. In Kenya, an estimated 1.5 million children have lost one or both parents to AIDS. Kaipij orphans support an impact mitigation program aims to economically, socially and academically empower orphans, other vulnerable children, youth and women in particular. HIV and AIDS have greatly affected food production and reduced families' ability to provide proper nutrition for those infected. Yet a balanced diet is critical for the well-being of people living with HIV or AIDS. Most farmers focus on cash crops like sugarcane farming at the expense of food crops. More than three quarters of all arable land is taken up by sugarcane. Kai beach in a fraha, kweza kupeana hii pump, kwa kikundi hiki chana muela, mutehele, support, group, itumie kwa ajili ya kufaidi wanainji. The Nutrition and Food Security Program aims to address the nutritional status of people living with HIV and AIDS and children from vulnerable households. The ultimate aim is to improve overall food security of the whole communities. This is achieved through training widows, older orphans and other community members in food production. The project also runs a community-based nutritional field school. In today's world, access to information is critical to empowering communities but most rural areas in western Kenya lack essential communication facilities. The road network is dilapidated. There is neither electricity, modern communication facilities such as telephone, internet and email are missing. Furthermore, there are no libraries or information resource centers within the rural areas where communities can access much needed information such as that on markets for the agricultural produce or other opportunities. <laughs> to fill these gaps, Kai Peach started a program to promote information communication technology ICT. The program empowers communities in gender-based human rights advocacy and gives them access to technology-based information, education and communication. This is achieved mainly through training. Other areas include photography, video production, tape recording, use of mobile phones and use of drama, radio, TV and oral tradition as tools of learning, education and development. 
Kaipinj works in partnership with community groups, NGOs and professional organizations, faith-based organizations, volunteers, government agencies and other development partners. The organization gets support from various foundations and trusts, both local and international, the government agencies and other community groups. Mpaka na mwenye alishobora. Na kwa yote tunawana alishobora imetusaidia kwa sisi ambao tulikuwa tumadhiriwa, tumepata kwa muka. Another self-help group that helps to improve the status of people in Western Kenya is Ikonzo Musandu. The objective is to improve the environment by planting trees and beekeeping as an income generating activity. The project has initiated tree nurseries where the local people are trained on conservation of environment. The main source is actually trees. We must have trees of various kinds in our community so that if we are into a dead environment, then we are dealing with planting of trees. So, and that's how we initiated this project. That first of all, we must get a sort of getting various types of trees that we, we are able to, to plant in our community. The, the, the title of the project is Environment Education. This plant or tree is, is um, called Moringa Oliveira. The Moringa Oliveira is very useful for, for people who are HIV positive and even those who, has, who have other ailments. These leaves are very important for treatment and they can be used on any patient to uh, give some nutrition or uh, support in the body decided that they should have a tree nursery while others like the beekeeping program is being done and at other school down then the school is playing a role of training the, if if we pick uh, maybe in agriculture to teach beekeeping in class then that knowledge is not already learned in class they should also apply it to manage their the beekeeping as a farmer knowledge the farmer the, the member of the family so that you find that knowledge you gained in the class should be able to be applied directly to the, to the community as a farm. Mama, who is Hala? You will learn more. Who is Hala? Tanya, Tino, Sibe, Hala, and Gesekaya, Tawe, No, Masia, We, Dis, Yaho. Sakira, Who are Parambo? No, Bula, No, Who are Hala? Project, Tfwe, Ye, Ndu, Hi, No. Me, Who is Hala? Wa, Mama, Sekundi. Si, Ula, Kama, Kum, Na, Sita, Ivi. Albia, Kuna, Miradi, Mungina, Mbawa, Matuleta, ICT ya kubadilisha mawazo imebidi mawazo kutoka vikundi zingine ambao pia kuna wamewaadhiriwa tukajua kweli sio sisi peke yetu kupitia KPJ sana sana ni KPJ inisaidia kwa sababu nikikonjeka hata na watoto yangu na mapatanga mtakapo kutoka kwao sana sana na hata kama nina wale mtingine kidogo kwa nyumba tu ile unajua hali ya mambo ni kitu peke yake na watoto mpaka unyevu kwa tena wananisaidia we are envisioning uh, a situation where uh, we scale up our programs to cover most of the country because there is already need for that and there is interest in that scale up process. And that is why we KP would need funds to scale up the nutritional program to reach more children, to reach more people that need to know about its information and its programs through the information, communication, technology program. We also would like to reach more families with our care services, mobilize more families to go to VCT centers, and this would require that we scale up, we train more trainers, scale up our program, build a strong staff to support the community efforts, really have a program that is having an impact on people. Yeah.